VMware vCenter Orchestrator is an awesome tool that can be used to automate almost any task, not just in VMware environments, but in heterogeneous environments. And EMC Storage Integrator, or ESI, is a tool that can also manage multi-hypervisor environments and automate storage provisioning. In the latest version of ESI, one thing that we've done is we've actually made it really easy to automate using vCenter Orchestrator. So what we have here is we've got a VNX. In fact, this is the virtual appliance version of a VNX. Um, and you can see that we've got uh, a series, uh, we've got some hosts, and the hosts have got, uh, in this case, a Microsoft Windows Server. And in hypervisors, you can see that we've got some vSphere hypervisors here. You can actually also integrate this with, uh, with Zen Server or with Microsoft Hyper-V, as well as applications, by the way, SharePoint and SQL Server, all sorts of cool stuff. So uh, in this case, we're going to look at a vSphere environment. You can see that uh, we've got uh, an ESX host uh, already configured. Now, if we pop over to vCenter Orchestrator, uh, we're going to show you how you can easily use vCenter Orchestrator workflows, um, and uh, ESI will automatically provide integration with the underlying EMC storage. So for example, here's a workflow that's already been created by the EMC storage integration here, provision of VMware data store. And it's got a series of tasks. Um, these tasks are all the tasks that are involved in creating a data store. But again, this could be part of a much more complex orchestration workflow. Um, so uh, the various steps are all listed there. And when we go and we say, hey, run this workflow, um, what it's going to go, it's, we're going to say we want to give it some input, the parameters, how big should the, uh, the data store be, um, you know, uh, what array, what cluster name. These are all arguments that go uh, into it. Um, and then what will be the individual host on which we're going to run uh, the uh, pipeline execution commands, which is the ESI host. So again, this will actually run through and automate that whole task. So we've already jumped here almost to the very end of the process. It occurs very, very quickly. And if we actually open up some of the uh, uh, detail, um, we can actually see in, in the underlying log the various tasks and uh, which ones they were doing. So for example, you can see LUN creation, LUNs being presented, uh, rescanning hosts, uh, the disk got found on the host, and then ultimately the data store got created. So simple and easy uh, integration with vCenter Orchestrator. Again, this is still early days of uh, this uh, degree of vCenter Orchestration uh, uh, Orchestrator integration with uh, EMC platforms. But uh, certainly this demonstration shows you where we're going and also, by the way, shows you the power of the EMC storage integrator, which can also be used to automate tasks, again, across multiple uh, different hypervisor environments as well as application environments. And here you can see that orchestration job completed, and here is our data store. Pretty awesome stuff uh, because the software-defined data center is an automated data center.